Finding effective drugs for the treatment of diseases from viruses to cancer is a long and challenging process. But does machine learning offer a shortcut to identifying the molecules and mechanisms we need to save lives? To discuss perspectives from academia and regulation, I'm joined now by the FDA's Spencer Hoppert and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital's Shang Chen. So nice to meet both of you. Thank you for talking with us. Nice to meet you. Let's start with you. How popular is the use of machine learning and AI in the development of drugs? And is, is this becoming kind of necessary? My personal understanding or my personal perspective is that machine learning will play a much larger role in the near future in, for uh, drug development as well as clinical care, for example, identify new biomarker, all these kind of research. So uh, my team and uh, at St. Jude, we are trying to push hard on um, applying machine learning tools or developing new tools for these kind of research, including the drug development. Spencer, let's expand on that. What are you seeing at the FDA with the expansion of AI beyond just discovery and going into clinical trials and beyond? What are you seeing? Right. So before I answer, I just have to say I'm speaking. I'm giving my own perspective and not speaking on behalf of the FDA. I work at tra the translational stage in FDA, and so uh, I think the latest figures are in the in the past few years. We've seen something on the order of you know 300. Uh, drug applications with some sort of AI ML components and uh, this is something that's only you know continuing to increase. Um, what's really remarkable to me is that uh, what we're seeing spans all different therapeutic areas, um, you know all manner of different use cases so people are getting really creative about what you can do in using AI ML uh, in drug development. How big of a challenge has this been for the FDA, especially when it comes to understanding the statistics behind the work? I mean, you said 300 plus, that's a lot. It is a lot, yeah, and it, it is a challenge, especially in the sense that in the pharmaceutical regulatory space, um, there's a lot of uncharted territory. Um, from the perspective of understanding the statistics, you know, my colleagues at FDA, you know, they're great statisticians, so the big concern for us is just making sure we have all the information that we need and so that's why we always ask uh, sponsors to start contacting us as, as early as possible, tell us everything that we need to know because we're going to have a lot of questions about what exactly you did during the model development process, how it's being used, what it means um, from a clinical perspective and, and so on. From your perspective, what's needed to successfully apply machine learning to biomedical research? What needs to be done? Uh, machine learning actually is not a black box. Right now, a lot of guys think machine learning is a black box thing. Yeah, we just, it can magically find some solution to your problem. But the, real, the reality is that machine learning is also something we develop. And therefore, we have to start with first understanding the problem. You can't, uh, you can't have a valid solution until you understand what you are trying to solve. And second, machine, in the machine learning field, there's a common cliche, say, got in, got out. So data quality is another crit critical component for machine learning development. You have to know what this data comes from and whether there's some uh, imperfection in the data and how to control them. And the third, uh, we have to understand the algorithm, like, uh, support vector machine, which is a very traditional one, will be slightly different from the CNN or transformer models now. And all these details, if we don't pay attention, can derail your machine learning application. Do you think machine learning and AI is going to get us to better treatments long term? And how do we make sure it's a positive influence? I think so, yes. Um, so I, I agree with a lot of what Shang said about you know, what we need to do to make sure that um, this is something that's actually going to uh, get us better drugs. Um, so some of the things that we're thinking about at FDA is, you know, uh, the data is, is paramount. We have to understand what the data looks like, where it came from, and make sure that it's fit for purpose for, for what is, uh, you know, is trying to be accomplished. Um, we're also concerned about a lot of the, uh, you know, traditional AI ML uh, problems being interpretability, um, you know, continuous validation of, of modeling um, and, and, and things like that. But, but yes, I think absolutely it's, it's a positive moving forward. Yeah, it, it was definitely a positive inference in the long term, but in the short term, we have to be careful about not applying too harshly to, without uh, extensive validation, we have to be a little bit cautious. Mm. But in the long term, yes. It will. 
Yes, yes. And ultimately make lives better, improve lives, save lives. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.